Hey guys, welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Today we're going to take a look at an out of date, if you will, or kind of old figure, but a really cool one nonetheless. I'm talking about none other than the Dark Lord himself, Darth Maul. Now there's an interesting story behind this this figure. In my particular case, whenever uh, he came out, he was everywhere. But I decided to buy other figures instead of him. And when I decided, finally decided to, to get him, I have a friend who owns a toy store, independent toy store, so I put it on layaway. And he said, yes, I gave him half of what, uh, what he was worth. I gave him uh, five bucks. So I was missing the other five. And I didn't remind to pick him up until today. So when I found the note and went to the shop, he gave me the figure. So I'm t this was two years ago. Very, very long time, but here I finally have him. Uh, here we have a, a look at the overall packaging. On the back, we have a still image of Darth Maul igniting his saber staff, or double blade lightsaber. He's about to fight both Qui-Gon Jinn and Obi-Wan in Theed Palace. And you can win a life-size Darth Maul statue sing by George Lucas and more, blah, blah, blah. We have the figure on the back, the same yada yada for the vintage collection figures. So let's take this bad boy out of the box and show you what he's got. I always uh, found Darth Maul very interesting and I thought his inclusion in the Clone Wars series was probably not the best but not yet not the worst either. It's always nice to see him on screen. Okay, so accessory wise he comes with... oh my god, I don't want to break him. Two ignited lightsabers, which form the saber staff. There we go. If you join these two, this one has a peg, the other one has a peg hole. If we join these two, we have the, the saber staff. He also comes with an unignited lightsaber, which can be hooked on his belt, onto his belt. I'll show you that in a minute. He also comes with... These are well stuck together, aren't they? He also comes with a pair of binoculars. Really, really cool. All um, really screen accurate and movie accurate. And here's the overall figure. Now, I don't like the hooded look on him. They should have done what they did with the uh, Black Series Darth Maul, 6 inch, with, a, in, in, with an interchangeable head and everything, but okay. You can remove the hood, like so, which reveals his uh, horns all over this the head. He also comes with a soft goods uh, robe, which can be removed, like so. That reveals Maul ready to fight. Uh, he comes with this bracelet, which I think is used to control or summon the seeker droids he has. So yeah, now he comes with a hole in his belt to clip the uh, the saber staff, but I can't really find it. Oh, here it is. I found it. it's off proportion, but uh, it's the the belt is facing the wrong way. But I'll I'll fix it later on. So you can just clip it into place, and you have a lightsaber. There, he holds it pretty nicely in his right hand, mostly. It's a very good figure, nonetheless. Very, very cool. I like it. Now he can hold the saber staff as well. Very, very nice. If you split the staff in two, you have these two lightsabers, but you'll notice they're really short in comparison to other versions of the, the saber staff he has. But it's not a major for me. So, as long as I have... Uh, Darth Maul, I'm pretty happy with him. He can also hold the binoculars in place and you can kind of make him look like you're seeing through them. I just can't find the joint. Okay, here we have it. So you do this kind of like this. Well, you get the general idea. 
This is a really bad review. I'm sorry, guys, but I have time for something better. I've uh, I've been really kind of busy. I'm really sorry, but okay. Here's the overall look at the Sith Lord himself. In terms of articulation, he comes with a ball jointed head, ball in shoulders and elbows, civil forearms, ball jointed torso, uh, ball hinged hips, ball hinged knees. And ball hinge ankles. I don't. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, very nice figure. Buy it if you can find it. Uh, it's a very nice match for Qui Gon, and for the figure. And in my book, Qui Gon should have won. But anyway, thanks for watching this review, guys. Until next time, take care. May the Force be with us all. Later.